what we've been working on so far with polynomials has mostly been multiplying. We've done a little bit of factoring, but not so much with whole polynomials yet. We were doing it with um, just factoring out greatest common factor. Today we're going to start with looking for patterns in this box and these down here and see where we can notice um, things that are the same or where they're coming from. So I'd like you to highlight the 3x squared that's in the box. And then highlight its match down below. And I think it's pretty obvious when we look at the box where that 3x squared came from because the boxes are labeled. But let's use the idea of foil and show with the color where 3x squared comes from down here with these binomials. If you remember, FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, and last. When I look at this outer, it is x times 4. x times 4 shows up in here, right here. And then this negative 3 and positive 3x becomes this negative 9x. And let's connect those, because those go together. When we combine these as like terms, they simplify to negative 5x. Where do you see that negative 5x down below? We call that the center term, or the term in the middle. What's left here then is our constant of negative 12. And it comes here. Negative 3 times positive 4. Is there anything your team found when you were exploring these numbers at your board that I've missed? All right, let's use the same colors and let's highlight another one. This is 2x plus 1 and 4x plus 3, which is across up here. Let's start with this 8x squared, and we find it here. In our binomial times our binomial, it's first term times first term, or 2x times 4x. Okay, then we have our 6x and our 4x that are like terms. They come from 2x times 3, 1 times 4x, and when their like terms are combined, they are positive 10x. And then finally, what's left is our constant of 3, which comes from 1 times 3.
Now, as we've discussed over the last couple of weeks, the opposite of multiplication is division. And factoring is another way of undoing problems that we've multiplied. This is our undistributed version, and this is the distributed version. And so if I'm given this, I should be able to figure out how to go back to this. And that's the work we're going to start working on today. Are there any numbers here that you see highlighted that you don't understand why those are coded with the same color? Or are you all seeing the connection between the different forms of them? Are we good? Okay. <clears throat> I thought that this was important for us to start with today because it really is pulling together a lot of different things that we've been doing over the last couple weeks before we move into our next section, which is factoring polynomials when they look like this. So we're going to start with some note taking on this. 